I've heard some rumors lately that there was a lot of mackerel out here at the Danish shoreline. So I have driven two hours out to a lovely coast here where we have some nice, nice weather. It's really clear in the water and as soon as I got out here, I saw in the water that there was a lot of mackerel. I'm telling you guys, it's boiling out here with mackerel. It's not that often that you see it here, but here in August, September, you can experience this crazy bonanza fishing out here where you just have mackerel chasing all over the place. And today is one of the days. So guys, let's go mackerel fishing. Okay guys, so finally it seems like the fish has arrived. I'm just heading over where I can see the fish and I can actually see quite a lot in the surface. It seems like the whole surface is just exploding. I don't know if you can see it at the camera, but right out here. Let's just have a cast and see. Oh my God, there's so many yeah. fish. Oh, nice. There are so many fish out here. That's amazing. Oy. And it's a strong fish as well. Really strong, nice. <laughs> and it's a mackerel. Oh, those fighters. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, I just took it so hard. Let's see if we can get it up. Nice. <laughs> First fish. A big, nice mackerel. Oh, and it seems like, it really seems like all the fish are this size, so. This one is coming home with me. Let's just see if we can grab another one. They are right out here. No. Huh? Oh, they are all over the place right now. Let's just have a quick cast out here. And see. Come on. Nope. Let's try to go a bit further. But these fish are moving so fast. It's really hard to explain. I can just try to catch up with them. Up. Just a nice long cast towards the school. Let's see. Come on, fish. But I'm telling you guys, this is so intense. The fish is just traveling at full speed right past me. And then they continue the other way again. Let's have a nice long cast again. Yep, right past the school. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, it's a feisty one. It's a feisty one. Oh, no, it came off, it came off. Damn. I'm telling you guys, this happened to be a blast out there. The last couple of hours I have had so many fish taking the lure. I managed to hook five of them and all of them are pretty decent fish. And uh, the lure of today is this little fella here. It's a Savage Gear Lure. Cannot really remember the name, I'll post it up here, but it's so effective for these mackerels. And all of them has taken this blue, white color, and yeah, definitely seem to work. Oy. There's one. No. What is that? Oh, that's a herring. What the hell? Okay, so now we know what the mackerels are in here for chasing is these ones a herring cool yep oh there it is again this seems like a a pretty decent fish oh yeah and it's just taking line i really cannot explain to you guys how fun this fishing is you should definitely go out and try it and just on a really light tackle it's just so fun So once again guys, 
just a really, really nice mackerel. And yet again, it's caught on this small service gear lure. Really a killer for these mackerels. Guys, look at this. Right in front of me, a big squall of herring. And you can actually see them all over the water here. There are so many. But the mackerels, they like, they keep the distance out there. Maybe we have scared them away a bit. Oops, that was perfect. Come on now. Look at this giant mackerel directly from the Danish shoreline. Doesn't really get any better than this. As I told you guys earlier, I can see a lot of herrings out here. And I tried some herring imitations, some silver and white ones, but it didn't really work. So definitely seems like this blue kind of silver version is working. And the way I have rigged it is just with a line through and then a small bead in this red kind of thing. I don't know if it's the color of the bead that, that makes any difference, but um, yeah. And then a triple hook, a small size triple hook at the end. So in this way, it has this really cool way of behaving in the water. And uh, yeah, definitely seems like it's something that the mackerel just can't stand. So basically guys, I'm trying to avoid casting in the middle of the school. So I'm just casting on the edges um, just not to scare the fish because despite that they are in a pretty <laughs> oh, one again despite that they are in a pretty big school they are pretty easy to get scared so try to cast alongside the edges and a bit uh, maybe a bit further um, before the fish enter the area so that way you can drag your lure uh, right in front of the fish without scaring them. Yep, there it was. Oh, nice. Finally one more. Oh, that's awesome. I just took a cast right in front of the whole school of mackerel. And suddenly this bad boy slammed. That is awesome, guys. Let's see if we can get it in here. Ah. <laughs> it came off. <laughs> so normally when I go mackerel fishing, I use lighter gear. And it's the same thing today because today I can see the mackerel is pretty close to the shoreline. So I don't really need to use some heavy lures or some long cast. I really just need to cast, I think, 20 meters and then I can catch some mackerel. And by using this lighter gear, it makes it really fun to catch them because they don't grow that big, but the mackerel is a really, really good fighter. So by using a light rod, I can get a really intense fight with yeah, just a small size fish. So really fun. For the reel, I use a pretty small reel as well. I use a size 2500, and that's really because it needs to match the rut. And uh, on the reel, I have a braided line, just to get a bit more intense feeling. I can feel much more with a braided line than I could with a mono line. But at the end of the braided line, I have a small leader, about a meter or so, with the fluorocarbon. And for the lure, I usually use some uh, line through lures. As you saw before, I used a small uh, Savage Gear lure in a bluish kind of white color. And that really, really, the mackerel just smoked it. It was intense. So that is just a quick run through what I'm using a gear for mackerel fishing. But almost all coastal gear you have and use on the coastline or shoreline can be used for this kind of fishing. So try it out. It's really fun. Just get out there and get some mackerel. Okay, so that was it for today, guys. We caught some really decent mackerels, about a kilo the biggest. And um, yeah, there's just a lot of them out here. So I hope you enjoyed this session for mackerel fishing as much as I did. And if I gave you some good tips and good advice, if you enjoyed the movie, then please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.